What is up guys, it is Boston to Crash with Nate, and today, we're going to be showing you guys how to build, well, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a good backstop for a high-powered air rifle, so you don't poke a hole through your neighbor's privacy fence, because I've never done that. Um, yeah, I just showing you guys how to do that today, because sometimes, you can even just find them laying around your house, well, laying around in your city, and you can get them very, very cheap, or even for free, most of the time. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, how to get one, and a good target for your high-powered air rifle. So you don't poke a hole through your neighbor's fence, because I've never done that. <laughs> uh, I never have. Maybe. So you guys never in my backyard where I normally do my videos. There's a tree that I used to shoot at. And there's the fence. Well, there's a tree that I used to that I normally shoot at. And here's the fence that I used when I had my red rider. I still do have the red rider, but I can't really use a red rider now. I think I got a high powered can't really use the fence now, I think a high-powered air rifle. Because the BBs will just stick into it, like um where'd it go? Oh, right there. And you can just poke them out. Like, that one just fell out, right? Um... Right there. But I can't really do that, because it's not really good for the fence. So, I got a wooden pallet. These are wooden pallets, so you can get them, like, anywhere from a company that's just trying to get rid of their skids for shipping, or what. But as you can see, it's got a few layers of wood, which works kind of like Kevlar. Kevlar is meant to stop bolts because of all of its layers. Tightly woven fabrics. This works the same way, but it's wood. And for targets, I hung two nails. I already took off this I already took off the targets, but I had fishing line for that. You hang two nails, take about an inch or so out of the board. So that way you can hang targets. And I have mine set up this way. You can set it up the other way. I think it's easier to have it set up this way. Up and down. So that is my setup. But you can get these just about anywhere for free or even very, very cheap. Most of the time they're just for free whenever company is trying to get rid of them. So yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to make the targets. So guys, since we're going to make a target for a high-powered air rifle, as you saw, I have the things, I had the nails hanging out of an inch off the board. So that way, you can target that's strong enough, but it'll swing so the bullet won't ricochet. So the pellet won't ricochet. That's where 88 cent spoons from Walmart come in handy. Yes, I've already shot at these a little bit because I want to make sure this works. Because I did see it off another YouTuber. And you can't trust the internet. Except for my channel, you can. And so this does work. The BBs, are work BBs won't ricochet, neither are the pellets. Um, so, nothing will ricochet. And that's the cool part about these 88 cent spoons. I mean, the BBs might do that, might dent it a little bit, because they move faster than the pellets. But the pellets, are kind of like, this is kind of like an AR-500 steel plate that swings for ARs. Or a 22 or a real firearm. Like those AR-500 steel plates that swing, like the 3 8 inches for 22s and stuff like that. This kind of works like that, because they swing, and they make a ding ding sound. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make them now. Here's what you're going to need. Duct tape, it's a fishing line, and some scissors. Duct tape's not really necessary though, so I gotta stop this clip, I'll be right back. So here's what you're gonna do. You take your fishing line, take one end of it, you free cut it off, tie a little square knot on it. Just a good knot, doesn't have to be a square knot, just a tight knot. As long as it's not a bow tie, you'll be okay. But you guys have a pellet moving at it at 800 feet per second, you're going to 1,000 feet per second with an ally pellet, will knock it down. So that's why you need a good sturdy thing like this, it'll swing, but you need to have the string on it tight. The thing about it has to swing, if as long as it swings, it won't ricochet. That's the good part about these. Move this up a little bit. Move it up so it's like up high at the top of the spoon so there's more room to swing. Then you take your duct tape. And 
Tear it like that. And then you wrap it around here. This way you can also see. I use your neon green so I can see the spoon and know where I have to look. Then you cut about a foot off. About a foot down. Maybe a foot. Maybe a foot and a half actually. Later about this much off. Cut it right about right there. That's about... There you go. Cut it out right there. And then you tie the other end to your nail. And as long as it's taking about an inch off, it'll roll swing and it'll be safe. So that's how you make these targets. Now I'm going to finish the other one off camera, obviously. So, this video isn't too long. So, yeah. Alright guys. Now you've got a GoPro set up. you got a GoPro. That's right. Um, we're going to try and shoot one of the spoons. I'm going to go for the one on the left. I think we got it, guys. Let's go check that out.